gonna do two basic sets with dance and a stick at the end. All right, so I want all your dance in that and then like a walk through for your flight and acro. Sound good? Just kind of get us warmed up. Five tumble sets. After each tumble set, you need to timer up to the stack of eight and then hop over to any surface of your choice and do a full dismount, okay? Two step board flight, all right? And then we have it set up here, here, and one on the front floor, but the threes might be up there, so we might just use these. Okay, you're gonna go full set here, but I want the flight in your acro to go up to a panel mat. Does that make sense? Okay, no movement though. No feet sliding around, nothing. All right, let's have really, really sharp into and out of in the tumble set, um, and nice and clean and nice, clean, easy. Yes? Okay, what's gonna be your one point focus overall today? Seeing your feet. What about you? Okay. Being visually aware. Tight landings. Perfect. Uh huh. Being powerful. Okay, perfect. You ready to go? All right, let's get on me. And one, two, higher in the back. Three, four, chin up. Five, six, seven, knees, girls. Eight, nine, good kit. Ten. One, pull down. Two, harder on the pull down. Three, come on, Ellie. Four. Good, one, two, skips, ready? Push, up, and two, and up. Lift, good kick. And one, two, one, up, two, up, harder arms, three, up, finish. All right, all right. One, two, guys, look at me, the arms are too soft. Circle and throw, okay, feel your triceps. Point, good Georgia, and go. Hips, split, hips, split, hips, and finish. Ready? And two, up and close. Guys, close all the way. Don't go here and then slide. Ready? And three, close, finish. Better, Ellie, good. Lift your front foot higher. Go, one, two, feet, three, four, higher. Five, six, seven, eight, feet, Ariels, nine, 10. Good. Good. Eyes down. One, two. Come on, feel about the rhythm on this. And go. Two. Eyes down. One, two. Good, Joe. That's excellent. Eyes down, Hannah. Down. Good. And three. Girls, find your hips on the handstand. Flat. One, two. Good. And go. Mountain climber. Look. One, two. One, two. Good. 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 One more. Go ahead. Look at the beam, guys. Hold your eyes down. Down. Joe, straighten your back. Uh-huh. You knew it before I even said it. Oh. Eyes down. Look. Freeze. Let me move your feet right now. Okay. Hold your eyes down. Go. Look. Feel the rhythm. One, two. Freeze. Yeah, good job, guys. Good. Come on, Joe. Sure. Good job, Josie. Look, Georgia. Look. Good, Georgia. Good, good, good. Yay. Good job. Good job. Um, very good, but you have to be willing to move your foot down the beam and keep looking out. Good start, Darielis. Come on, Kip. Come on, Quinn, let's go. Yeah, they were great, Ava. Good job. Stand up, free, and point up. Feet on the flutter, D. Get under, Caitlin, get under. Stand up. There you go. Come on, come on, come on. Good. Ooh. Get under, hold, and. Good job, Mila. Great job. Great job. And a little bit long standing there, Grace. Look, look, stand up. And. Oh, I, I literally see your knees go forward to 90 degrees, and then it, and that's where the layout feels like that. Try again. Bridge in the back handspring. Get it, Ava. Good start, Ava. Better quick. Good correction. Good, Georgia. You are totally on, though. Bridget, your first foot lands, and then you pick your head up, and you just look all over instead of narrow and down. So, up, up, better, Quinn. Good job, Georgia. You still feel there, like your first foot lands, and then you're up here. There's nothing up there. Keep getting your weight into your second foot, and then finish. Eyes down, hold. Good, Grace, better. Come on, Joe. Come on, Caitlin. Lift, lift, and. Good job, Caitlin. Feet on this, Ariella. Skip to 45. And shred will close. Yep, faster connection there, Dean. Come on, Ellie, let's go. Come on, Joe. 
down, split, close. Yep, back leg's a little bit low. All right, let's move a little bit faster for do everything down here. Let's go. Whoops. Feel the rhythm more, Ava. Bring your legs to your chest, not your chest to your legs, right? There's a difference. Can up. Kick, kick, come on. It's too slow out of your legs. And then your butt is completely loose over the top. Drop kick. Bring your shoulders down. A little bit better. Good, Ellie. What are you pulling through too soon? Yeah. Let's see that one dropped. Yeah. All right, Elle. Elle, your knees can be harder in the one and a half. They're a little bit soft. Then I just step into the mat. Steady. Down, down, down. Yeah! Oh. And a full set with um, tumble ups. You got beams right here at the panel mats already set up for you. What do you need, babe? I need lift your legs straight and look at the beam. Lift. Better. Better. Twisting up the beam. I want to see it get all the way up to the ceiling as your shoulders pull down, then I fool. You mean stand there for the first one? Okay. Eyes up, eyes up. And down. One, two, one, two. Finish. Ava, the rhythm is getting so great on that. Good job. Come on, Ellie. Come on, Kate. Let's go. Move down the beam this. Big, big, and one, two. Up. That's better. Come on, Eva. Tumble set. Yeah, you're not you're holding your head down. Go, Georgia. Good. Up. Good job, Eve. What do you need to use more of into the uh, double back, though? Yes. Yes. Good. Eyes down. Look. Good. Good. Good, Kate. Okay, great job. You have five thumbnail points for that. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. Two made of your competition tumble sets. You know what that means, right? So, G, that's your two doubles, not your double front, etc. Two on the floor, one the strip. Please use the hard strip. All right? Three made of each pass. Um, that includes whatever your working passes are. So if you have something like your double pike, I want that in. Please do a personal drill and a landing drill if we are not quite getting that landing yet, all right? Routine is with third pass today. Five burpee back checks is your cardio. Five each dance, and then the upgraded stuff. Rocker, push okay. off your hands. Push off, arms lead. Good. Feel the pressure on your hands when you hit here, but good rock. This is not gonna be your floor music, I'm sorry. <laughs> Keep your butt squeezing all the way through. Dodd. If your knees are bending, it tells me that the push to the legs and the butt squeeze is not there. All right? Snap. Yeah, I'm in the way. Back tucks when you're done with those. You guys can move those out and use both sides if you'd like. Be tighter legs when you punch the floor, please. Pull the mat up. Good, Joe. Abe, I want to see that today. Can I see that today? Your back hands, but you guys can move those when you're done. Ava, same arms that you were doing on those candles, okay? Arms down, yep. Hit, go all the way down, please. Go from the pike. I want you going from the pike, okay? Yeah. Mila got scared. <laughs> Her eyes are like, what? Ava, one day, it'll happen. Ellie, stay lower longer, please. Work. Those diagonals need to be done by 15, so let's. Come on, Ave. Under. Okay, I want a rebound out of that. How do we get that? Keep driving, please, okay? You're snapping great, but you're forgetting the lower half. Please put your arms by your ears. Good, Joe. Okay. Up! Okay, where are your arms in the between? That's where they should be, where are yours? Yeah. They're about here, okay? Good start, Joe. Swing the arms on the second one. It's getting better swinging narrow, but they gotta get behind your head. All right, do you see your feet come down? Okay, see it on the first one, because that's, that's the one you're punching from, right? Okay. 
So we did a 15 minute complex and then we did a quick diagonal um, basic warm up pretty much. They use that as their warm up for their passes. After that, they had two tumble sets to make of passes that they can currently do that will be in the routine at the very beginning or like towards mock meet. We're hoping to build on those as time goes on. Strong layout, please. Good. Shoulder on top of hip at the end. Up! All right, Dad. Cool. Okay. All right. It's getting stronger. I know, I know. I could not have done that at the beginning of last season, though. Yeah, so look how much you've improved. Now get your burpee back tucks in so that that gets easier. It doesn't. Allie, keep your chest up. Start spotting a little further in front of you, okay? More hip on that corner, Ava. Okay, arms go up, out of one and a half. Up. All right, knees at the end. Step backwards on this. All right. How long do you hold your ending for? Two seconds, then salute and walk off, okay? Okay. Um, I actually like the pass. I think that was decent for the end of the floor routine right now. Okay. Who's you? up? Ellie, you going? And then spot, yes, with arms up a little bit higher. Yeah, and then you'll snap from there. I missed that one. Tell me about it. Okay. All right. Form over trying to rotate this right now, all right? Strong legs, please. A lot more. Look. Okay. How'd the round off feel? Too much up. Mm -hmm. So how do we fix that problem? Mm -hmm. Why don't you go round off candle over there? And I want you to think about that. I bet you were kind of nervous because you just wanted to finish the tumble set, right? What's it going to feel like in a routine? Same way, right? You got to learn how to train your mind and process about, like as you go in the corner, process about what you're going to do before you run down the diagonal, okay? All right, go do the drill and try again. All right, very good start. Ellie, in or out? Head down. All right, you're trying to land too much versus work out of this. Right now we are not focused on landings, right? That'll come later. Right now I want good feet up and momentum going the direction you want, okay? Come on, Joe. Pretty Joe. Arms go up. Uh Okay, so you saw the full, then what? What'd you look for? What should you be seeing? Go show me what you should be seeing. Do the step half and spot. Watch, yeah. Where are you gonna look? And then, but going into the front layout, where are you gonna look? Diagonal, look for the corner. That's never gonna change whether you're here or at a meet. It stays. Look, tight. All right, good effort. Lock them. Don't let them bend. Press your hips down. Lock them. Do you feel that? Bend them. That's what yours look like right now. Squeeze them. Activate these muscles. You feel that? Mm -hmm. Now go make that change. Third pass. You know what? It looked like you're going to be right there. <laughs> and then I felt like you hit and you second guessed yourself and collapsed in on it. Yeah, you almost you call it the TSA, but you like suitcase. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Squeeze your butt so it snaps up. Okay, can't walk. Better pace. You get a point for the stick. Hey, Don, do you feel your feet at the edge of that sting? Okay, finish the snap down. The hips were great. Arms were even better. Oh, look at that. Kaylin, I'm actually really proud of this. Let it go. I want you to come down to it. You're out of bounds. Okay, yeah. faster hips though. Okay. It's getting better with chest, it's uh -huh. getting better with hips. But yeah. it has to happen quicker. Okay. At least stand there. I feel like you've got the rotation down, but now you need to get aware of where your body is. Yeah. <laughs> Up! Get to your finish, good. Good. Very nice. All right, Dave. 
better going into, but the snap is still long. Come on, D. Um, once they finished the tumble sets, I did three of each pass and they started adding in like their working passes. Some of them have some double pikes and some um, E passes that they were working on that aren't quite ready to go in the routine yet. So that's where they got those done as well as training, starting to put together a routine. So we did a routine with third pass. Throughout the week, we do a different pass each day. So today was their third pass. Um, and that, that one is a lot harder at the moment just because of cardio reasons and it being so early at this point for routines. But as preseason's progressing, we gotta start doing that. So that's where we're at right now. Honestly, I thought they did pretty good to get today like for where they're at, so. Let's go, Kit. Right now. Yes. Okay. Better. It's getting there. It's getting there. It still is like straight up, straight down. Why? Yeah. So you did hips that time, but here's what happened. Hips. So everything continued to go this way. Okay. You got to finish and squeeze your butt and let it open as you swing back towards the whip. Come on, Joe. Look. Hey, okay. I saw you like deliberately see that. Good job. Come on. Okay, good effort, D. Oh, good job. You may rotate on that and you may also have five pumpkin points for that. When we start that up next week, please. Deal? Yes. All right. Overall, good job. Please get ready for I'm not sure what event you're going to. I think vault. All right? Grab a drink, go. Hurdle, move the hurdle. Be intentional here, please. Five um, hip hurdles here, five arm hurdles with a small band. So if you wanna split, there's like three little drill sections so you can kind of split, split between them, but five of each thing. Hip hurdles and arm hurdles. Cartwheel step-ins, round offs, and then back handspring with the Velcro between your knees. And then um, the partner snap throughs off the table and then layouts to your back. Okay, so go three, three, and two at those stations, then we'll just kind of rotate around. Keep your chest in, press your hips forward more, yep. We're having some issues moving hurdles, so um, the first drill is gonna be trying to move hips on the hurdle, filling the pull from their hips, and then the second one is trying to move arms on the hurdle. So I'll do it with the hurdle, though. Do kind of like the step hurdle, how we first did it. Mm -hmm. So you can do it in place, you can do it moving. Pull the first hand down more, Mila. Feel both knees stay bent, girls, into it. So I would say we spend usually like 15 to 20 minutes on um, like a complex. And usually the complex for like the flipping day is kind of like short, sweet, and to the point of um, hitting exactly what I want to see. And we usually we try to go in exactly in order of like what the skill progression is going to be. So the hurdle drills come first, then the cartwheel drills, then the back handspring drills, and the flip drills. Um, and I think that that's been really helpful to kind of connect the pieces together of like um, what we want to think about on each um, on each little like section of the vault. <laughs> Girls, now watch the table. Hips up. There you go, Al. Here, um, right backy, and then a uh, table shape right there. Um, I would highly encourage step-ins off of that table, halves and fulls both. Okay. Let's go. Bend down. All right, but do you feel how the body tension is not the same from the timer to the flip? I feel like you're trying to like, almost like pick up more speed by like relaxing so you can push really hard. You don't need to do that. If you just get upside down and stay tight, the table will do the work for you. It will bounce you. Pull under. All right, all right. Uh, Hannah, I think you can get your hips up better on the front side of the table. Move the hurdle and scoop under. A little better. A little bit pikey coming off the table though. Press your hips up high enough that you don't have to pull your feet down. Keep pressing them so they create more rotation. So we moved very, very slow coming back from quarantine. Um, we took a lot of time to work on hurdles, to work on um, seeing hands go down on the hand mat, um, and just working on like body tension, hitting the table, um, trying to spot the table a little bit better. Um, I feel like vaults that were um, maybe struggling a little bit last year, have really picked up quite a bit. I feel, um, I feel the layouts have made a lot of progress, which has been good. And we've been trying um, a couple different options kind of for fulls. Um, some kids have uh, caught on to the, like the quarter front layout technique and 
Um, some have struggled with that a little bit more and done well just being late twisters off the table. So we've kind of done an individual approach to what, um, what works best for each kid. There you go. Georgia, it's a little bit wide and flat on the table. Get your hips up more and get your arms in more narrow. Scoop. Good, good, Dottie. Under and hips. Yes, Kit, so much better. Kit, the front side of the table was so good that time. Good job. Scoop up. There you go, good. Kate, off the table though, more shoulders up. Like I feel like you start to twist around the side instead of getting your shoulders up and then back down to half. Feet under, hips. Yes, Caitlin, so much better. Good effort. Obviously, safety and success, and um, I think honestly, technically correct is, is more important than chucking fools um, because those will not upgrade. And I would rather have um, skills that can be built on two versus uh, just a fool for a year or so. Come on. Good try, good try. You are so much more aggressive when you start thinking twisting than you do on a layout. I would love to see your layout be more confident and strong um, so that, the, that it becomes a reality that we could do this on a real mat. See the table first. Okay, you feel the head move? Well, see your hands and feel a straight arm block up off the table. Good, you got it. Up. Good effort, Grace, good. I would love to see a little bit more just like hips upside down the table faster to flip faster. I just don't feel like it flips very fast. The full timing is so much better, but if it doesn't have flip, not gonna work. Under, yep, better, better. I like the flat hips that, that time, that was a lot better. Rotate, yes, that's right, Ava. Oh, that was a breakthrough right there. That was a breakthrough. That was a breakthrough. That was like the right way to do it. Yay. Come on, Kate. All right, all right. Okay, I feel like you started the full tight and then you worried about landing short so you piked down. Keep pressing your hips the whole time. It's gotta get up with your shoulders and keep flipping a layout. Up. Okay, okay. Do you feel yourself just like relax at the end? Like I feel like you just pull your feet down and stop with body tension. You've got to keep pressing your hips the whole time. Your shoulder, shoulders will come up if you keep your butt tight and your hips flat. But if you just pull your feet down, you're going to land chest down. Okay, I don't like the giant arm circle though. Uh, Joe, I just want your arms back and then you got to get into the table faster and your, your hips on top of your shoulders more. Good, good. But even as you come down though, tighter legs and then fall back. Look at the table, look. Good, Grace, good. Good try, yeah, I, yeah, I know you saw the table. Okay, first time ever, yay. Eyes down, better effort. That was way better than the last one, D. Good job. Come on, G. All right, all right. Do you feel though how like you don't rotate with your hips and shoulders? It's like shoulders going and then your hips kind of follow. It's missing some flip because you're only going with your shoulders. You've got to connect your upper and lower half. Yeah. Under, look, better, better, better. Much like I want you to spot it, not just because it's going to put your head in, but because you're going to know where you're at better. Hips flat on. Yeah, Joe, that was my favorite one. Um, and we've been recently flipping up, but soft. And I feel like that is important too. Um, I don't know, I feel like I never thought vault would be, I, uh, coming as a beam coach, I never thought vault would be quite as fun and complex and like, um, like it is, but I love coaching vault. Good effort, that's okay. I feel like the rotation wasn't quite as good on that, but your chest was in better. Good. Hips down more. Hold your hips down. Feet and knees by the low bar, be aware of that. With your elbows locked, please. Um, okay, so bars, I feel like we have, we did a lot of basics. Um, we took, I mean, 
we didn't probably do any releases for like a month or so. We just did just basics. We did swinging. Their forearms were dead. Their hands were ripping. Um, and, and But I felt like we had to. I felt like I wanted to be really, really safe um, bringing back releases. The kids were begging to do releases, and I feel like that was a good approach versus like pushing things when they were scared. They really wanted to do their stuff it's again. Getting stronger toe circling elements or toe circles to make the toe circling elements feel stronger um, and have a little bit more power. About 15 minutes of complex, and it's usually three turns of like a long complex to kind of build up bar cardio and stamina um, because always the biggest complaint is they feel like I'm going to peel off at the end. Um, so we do everything either to a long, uh, bunch of tap swings or five giants because I feel like that's, that's exactly the feeling that you want to um, be able to hold on for. Nice, Licky. Good. Better, Caitlin. Just wait a little bit longer coming off the bar, Caitlin. Chop fast. Lock out, good grace. Legs touching, touching, touching. Good one. Just don't pull on the bar at the end. Use your tap, press your hips down, then get your hips up. Come on out. Elbows, Alex, up. Good, down, out. Mm-mm. You're doing, Alex, it's going down, scoop, straight up, up, this way. It's got to go down and then stretch your hips out over the low bar. Look and scoop. Push. No. You're sitting too early. Wait longer. Fall, sit, past the low bar. Like, you have to keep extending so you're picking up more swing into the drop. Not really. I felt like I waited for the later drop on that one. Mm -hmm. Now feel your feet. Touching, touching. Quick lift, fast legs. Better. Okay. Third pass. Clean hands still. A little short there. Feet by the low bar. Point them. A little better. Even on the giant though, Mila, I feel like there's a little bit too much pike up instead of like hips pressing up flat. Nice, Grace. Elbows though. Oh boy. Thank you, Mila. Come on, Kate. Now look, look again. See the mat. There you go. All the way up. Arm down and stomach. Hand stand first, Caitlin. Come on, get all the way up. Better. We do a little routine portion of whatever whatever routine that they can make at this point. And um, I feel like it's a good wake-up call for people. If they have a routine with no bonus, then they need to know that that's what they have. And um, if they have a routine that is, you know, sitting pretty, they're excited about that. Um, and then we do kind of pieces at the end. Pretty. Now rhythm, down, out, better. Scoop over more, Kate. Head down, hold it. Much better though, much better. Out, there's just that tiny bit of like, uh, head out right at the last second. Keep it in the whole time. It will work every time when you do it that way because you'll find the bar. Be ready to see it. Nice, keep it up. Rhythm. Pretty. Now quick legs, pick them up. Nice job, Kit. Hold on. That was like one of those awkward, like, which side? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Bounce the bar. Now be patient. Oh, much better. Speed here now, come on. Scoop over, Ava, oh, faster, come on. Faster over, faster over. Would you say those were speed giants? 
Would you say those were speed giants? Okay, if you shift and your body is still on that side of the bar, they don't get any faster. You have to be going over the bar and doing a laid shift. So you've got to scoop over like a three quarter giant more and then shift after your body gets over the bar. Good. Eyes down. Look out. Up. Only mild Spider-Man. Okay. Yeah. Is Sharon still here? I don't know. Hmm. Hey, Megan. Good start, Lang. Ooh. Oh, I was hoping you would do that. Good. Yay! I was gonna say, but that's all bar team right there. I mean, no, don't back. That's the easy part though for you. Good job. Oh boy. Dottie, on the giant pull, you can't pull and turn with your chest out. Scoop up and pick your button and hips up more going over the top. Okay, the tap is too early. Like really press down more on the drop and wait to tap when the bar presses down. That's when you're supposed to be tapping. Watch your legs come up with your butt tight. Press the bar down. Press, press. Good. Straight line. Arm down, push. Come on, good. Did you go yet or no? What? Did you do first half yet or no? Yeah. Okay. Feel your legs. Come on, more, Ellie, and scoop over the bar. Let's go. Good. good. Ellie, watch how much your chin is digging on the Giants. Like, that's what we talked about that before. Look straight forward at the wall more. On your hips. Roll, roll, roll. Good. That's all right, get your chin down more. So when you toe handstand, this, it's not going to get back down to find the bar. You have to keep your head in. So see your feet go on the bar, then from there, start looking down to find the bar again. Down! Oh, there we go. Okay. Over the bar more, over. Down, up. Okay, okay. You try to do all legs and hips though. I want your shoulders, the backs of your shoulders to pick up and press down into the second flip so your hips can stay flat. So I wanna watch Ellie's dismount. Come on, Ellie. Same aggressive tap. Look this time, legs. Okay, it needs to create flip though. Okay, so if you tap up and your body's flat like this, nothing's creating flip. Tap up and rotate your hips more. Look at the low bar, look down. Much better. There you go. Pretty Georgia. Hustle on in. There you go. Now clean, clean. Find your toes. There you go. Push down. There you go. Good job, D. Hey, might have taken 10 turns, but one's better than nine. Good job, buddy. It's been a good like wake up call. I have to remind myself every October that it's hard every year and it, I feel not prepared every year. It doesn't matter how good it goes or how bad it goes. October is always rough and it's hard, but um, I feel like they've kind of risen to the occasion. It's not as consistent as I would like it to be yet, but it's moving the right direction. Ready? That's a wrap.